Hey there guys, welcome back to Deadly Creatures, it's time for chapter 5, Dust to Dust. And it's time to play as the Tarantula again, so if you're scared of spiders, you might want to click away the video now. Alright, here we go. Off doing what spiders do. Which is make webs and then wait in them all day for something to fly in them and then eat them. And rinse repeat for a, about a few months and then you've got the average spider life. I don't really know like how old can these spiders get anyway. Because you don't expect something as small as a bug to live very long. I mean, lifespan tends to be, like, based on size or something. Or behavior, because, like, stuff like elephants and whales, they can get freaking old. And they're big. And then you also have, like, turtles who can grow really old, but apparently that's because they're super slow and don't really ever do anything. So... Yeah, how old can like the average tarantula get I don't think it's more than a year yeah I don't think these things live that long oh I see a web there shoot it I ah, can't shoot it why can't I shoot the web uh, and why can't I crawl down from this cow skull which is also where we already were in the last part with the scorpion. So the spider's still tailing the scorpion apparently. We can't go through the skull either. So then where the hell are we supposed to go? In this tunnel? Why the hell am I not using the help arrow? There it is, the help arrow. Alright then, go here. Yes. Wait. We're here back where we started. Oh, now I get it. Uh, okay, I guess we have to kill the enemies. Ah, oh, crap, the tarantula hawks again. And guess what, this time we're the tarantula. What? Yay. Hooray for spider web interception. And then we kill him. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. I mean, those things hunt tarantulas. I'm a tarantula. So, I'm effed. Bring it on, stupid flying fuckers. Eat my web. Come on. Luckily, these things aren't all that strong. You can kill them with a few hits. But you need to hit them. That's the problem. Luckily, a face full of web will slow them down. So that you can kill them at your leisure. Or leisure. Depends on which English speaking part of the world you're from. Like tomato, tomato and all that bollocks. Now, that's the last of them I hope. Yes, now we can use the web. Except I can't hit it from here. So we'll have to crawl up on the cow skull. Ah, crap, mites again. I hate those things so much. Okay, web, I will shoot you. Not close enough, apparently. Okay, our little ninja spider can do pull off all kinds of crazy web action. Alright, grub down on some grubs. Om nom 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 nom. Holy crap. Another... Bloody tarantula, where the hell did that one come from? And why is it kicking my ass? And why does that thing like have super freaking speed and dodges everything I throw at it? it makes m reminds me of the freaking Hermes boss fight in God of War 3 all over again, although that was still pretty easy. This is just annoying. I mean, he hits me. Camera's not really working with me either. Stand still, you screw up. I wanna get you. Okay, did I get him? Oh, he's on the wall. Come here, you. I don't know why, but these tarantulas are always giving me trouble. 
Do you not think already took over half of my health away? And now it's dead. Uh-huh, go here. Wait. We were just here. Oh, go here, okay. Uh. Yeah. I mean, like, shoot. Web, of course. And we just jump across the entire freaking valley. I mean, I don't think the spider can, like, shoot a thread of web that's, like, ten feet long. I don't really know how long that jump was. It's kind of hard to estimate distances in this game because, you know, we're so small and everything's so big. And we're here again. Pretty sure we've been here before. Except, yeah, they pretty much have you, like, backtrack all the time with the new platforming abilities you've unlocked. So now we have to, like, web shoot our way over there. Which I guess works. Oh, crap, what the hell? Glitches! They are everywhere. Okay, jump onto that cactus. Luckily, we don't land on the spines. That would be pretty freaking... Holy crap. Those must be bombardier beetles. There is some kind of really weird bug that... Like, create some kind of acid in its rear end, which it can then shoot with surprising accuracy. And l incredible distances. But now we unlock the stealth pounce. Which is that. Pretty much you throw yourself at the enemy from halfway across the screen. And they die. It's pretty much an insta-kill on most of the weaker enemies. So it's a really nice move. And grubs, they are also nice. What's that there? You thinking about running away? Well, I don't think so. Get your freaking grasshopper. No one escapes from me. That crap, more beetles. No, you will not shoot me with your acid poop. Because that's disgusting. And it burns. Ah. How am I supposed to jump if you keep shooting me? <coughs> Bloody bugs. Ah, freaking mites again. Those things are freaking everywhere. I need to get up here somehow. Hint arrow, give me a hint. That's what you're for. Oh, I need to shoot web over there, I guess, but the bloody cactus is in the way. Get the hell away, mites. Why can I not hit that? I'm like right in front of it. Why? This makes no sense. Uh huh. Nope, can't hit it from here either. This is getting annoying. Watch, just watch and have the solution be like really freaking simple. Yeah, it's really freaking simple. Why do we always suck at the most rudimentary tasks? Uh-huh, hint arrow. Okay, there we go. Banzai. Spider bungee jumping. And there's another grub over there. Already 95 grubs. Where does this little spider leave all of them? I don't know and I don't want to know. Does he have like a little portable mini dimension in his stomach? Do spiders even have a stomach? Beats me. I'm no biology expert. Hop over there. Oh, come on. Do you really need to use your web for that? It's only a small gap. You can easily jump that yourself. Two grubs for the price of one. It's happy hour in Bugland. Uh-huh. Where the hell? Oh, there we go. Sometimes the camera angle really gets to me. Holy crap, did I just see a lizard? 
guess we're gonna be fighting lizards as the spider as well. It's not just a scorpion exclusive. Nope, lizard, you will die. Crap, that attack doesn't one hit kill the lizards. But that attack followed by a spin attack does. Crap, did I mess that one up? How did it, how did that happen? Get rid of bloody lizard. Lizards are pretty freaking fast as well. It's all the tiny creatures that can move miraculously fast. I think I'm pretty sure I read in some kind of magazine that if you like made the fastest running bug the same size as the fastest running land animal which is like the cheetah or something if you'd make like the fastest running bug as large as a cheetah it would be able to uh, run like 200 miles an hour or something if it still like kept the same speed to size proportion <coughs> so that's pretty freaking impressive for such a tiny creature no, I don't want to save my progress. I want to use A to attack the bloody grasshopper. Uh, where did, where did it go? There it is. Nah, screw it. Who cares about the grasshopper? I want it. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. No one runs from me, grasshopper. Alright, more wall crawling. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, he does what a spider can. Can he swing from a web? Yes, he can, because he's a spider. Look out, here comes Spider-Spider. Okay, that was lame. Uh, I can see some web over there. Move up, stupid camera. Alright, there we go. I'd imagine we're about there. At least that's where obvious camera told us we needed to go. An obvious camera wouldn't lie to us now, would he? Mm -hmm. Where there's more web. Yeah, this is just pretty much hopping from web to web and crawling through caverns and gnawing on grubs. It does get kind of repetitive after a while. And what's at the end of this tunnel? Something, I hope. Oh, hey, it's those guys again. Right where I said it was. You got the map? What's left of it. Help me up. <coughs> this don't make any sense. What are these squiggly things all over? Octopus cactus. Come on. Grab the shovels. What about the coffin? Oh, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that stereotypical American hillbilly is correct. Coffins do not usually tend to go somewhere by themselves. I mean, if dead people could walk, or if coffins could move themselves, there would be no need for, like, driving them to funeral homes and all that stuff. And what do I spy over there with my little eye? A dead bug! Journey through the Citadel Cactus. Sweet. Stop pooping on me. Or shooting your bodily fluids. It's not polite to shoot your bodily fluids on other people. Or other bugs. And now we unlock the feeding ability, which I don't know what it does. But I don't think we can go through there. Stupid mites again. Get off me. No one likes you. Okay, I guess we need to go in there. Go after the lizards. Let's go get them. <coughs> There's one. Banzai! Did I get him? Nope. Oh, I can... Wait, what was that? Oh, that must have been the feeding. I guess I kind of messed it up. Oh, well. 
Lizards don't really make good food anyway, grasshoppers do. I had fried grasshopper once over in some wacky Chinese restaurant, it was kinda gross. But you have to try everything once in your life, right? Except smoking. Smoking's bad. And yay, we're in Tarantula Hawk Hive, where the scorpion duked it out with a couple of these in the last part. So now it's the spider's turn, and luckily the scorpion already seems to have killed most of them, which is nice because a spider would not stand much of a chance. I mean, those things bloody eat spiders. Or they at least hunt spiders and kill them and paralyze them, and then lay eggs in them and then have them eaten from the inside out. Yum. <coughs> so let's spider up to the top of the hive. But if they, like, kill spiders, then how did these webs get here? Like, no s no sane spider would ever go here willingly. So who made the web? Don't think wasps can make web wi make webs. So who done it? I don't know, but I do know that we're getting out of here. Let's see, now we have to find the lizard's den. Which I reckon is over here somewhere. Over the rainbow. Yeah, I saw some commercial about that song with some really fat guy who apparently sung that. Nah, it's not important. Anyways, lizard's den. Holy crap, that's a lot of lizards. Yeah. A real life tarantula would be fucked now. But this is not a real life tarantula, this is Super Tarantula. And he doesn't take shit from anyone. Especially not lizards. His lizards are assholes. And he feeds on them with his mighty spider jaws. Come on. Only one more. Stop biting me. You stupid red-headed lizard. You're a redneck. And he's a redneck lizard because his neck and his head are red. So he's a real American. Yeah. Always fun making fun of American stereotypes. Like the redneck cowboy. But yeah, Bush really didn't do much good for the image of Americans. Although I do miss him. I mean, Obama never does anything stupid like Bush did. I mean, I've yet to see the day when Obama runs into a closed door or gets a shoe tossed at his head. No oh, way, hey, lizard's dead. Yeah, let's feed on the lizard. Suck out his insides. Nobility crawl upside down. Great, now it becomes even more confusing because now we can also crawl on walls. And if you jump on a wall, you land on your head and you die. Pretty much. Although we can tell by... Look at those hanging thingies that we're crawling on the ceiling. So it should not be that confusing r right off the bat. Okay, where are we going now anyway? Just crawling through some long tunnels and numbing on grubs. Nice. Ooh, another save point. You know, I do start to recognize a pattern here. I mean... The spider stages are pretty much always longer than the scorpion stages. Is this game prejudiced, prejudiced towards spiders? Maybe. Or maybe it's just because the scorpion stages are just more linear and about smashing everything and the spider needs to go platforming all over the place. So yeah. And that's a really neat cactus. It looks like a freaking octopus. And holy crap, what's that? I thought those kind of lizards like only lived in Australia or something. Like the spiky devil critters. Yeah, Australia has some batshit insane creatures as well. Like that frilled lizard. That's pretty awesome. Looks like the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. Anyways... 
that's all for this part of Deadly Creatures. In the next part, more scorpion action. So I'll see you in the next part of Deadly Creatures. Thanks for watching. Bye.